Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 311 Griffin YouTube channel. This video should be a quick video about how to set up a switch as a modifier in DCS. And I apologize because I know there is a video out there about this already. I've, I've seen it as I was scrolling through YouTube, but I can't find it at the moment, and I don't really have time to search for it. But I had a question about this, so I just thought that I would uh, go ahead and, and make a video on it to answer the question. I don't want to dilute the content out there, but this is the fastest way for me to do it where I am at the moment. So in DCS, we're going to go to options. And I think that this is per control scheme. So I think you have to do this for, like if you need the modifier in the AH-64, but not in the F-18, I think that's it's good the way it's set up because you would have to go into the AH-64, either pilot or CPG or whatever, and add this modifier there. Uh, so you'll have to add it to every every module that you need it in. Uh, but that's a good thing because you can use like the pinky switch on the Thrustmaster Warthog stick for something in the AH-64, and then you can still use it for the default in the Hornet, for instance. And I don't remember what it's called in the Hornet, but it's the it has something to do with the fly-by-wire stuff, the flight control system. Uh, but anyway, we're in the H64 CPG, and if you look, we've got, uh, this is, um, you can't really tell, but this is my Cooley hat on my throttle, okay, that I've got for the right-hand grip sight select switch. But I want to use that Cooley hat also for this boresight polarity. Um... Now, I don't know that I want this set up that way, but just for the example, we're going to do that. So let's go down to modifiers, and we've got a list of our modifiers. I'm going to add a modifier. This I'm going to use the mic switch depress on my throttle. So I'm going to pick the throttle, and you can look at the list and pick it, but it's easier just to press it or to, to flip it. And then I recommend setting a modifier name that is concise, but very obvious. So we're going to put mic depress here so that I know that that is the mic switch depress. Okay. So now we have that added. I should have probably pressed it um, because I might have been using it for something. Uh, I don't think that I did. I don't think I had it set up for anything, but you should probably press the button you're looking at using just to make sure that you're not already using it for something. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't use it for a modifier, but you'll have to take whatever function it was controlling and make it something else. Okay, so now with this boresight polarity, I can go to my throttle and I can add, and then I can go down here and I can pick this modifier. And then I can press uh, that. So that's my Cooley hat up, right? And now we've got mic depress plus Cooley hat up. And I can do the same thing here. Mic depress, Cooley hat down. Mic depress, let's do left. This doesn't make a lot of sense, but, you know, for ex for demonstration purposes it works so I'm, I'm just setting this modifier and then pressing the button that I want so now I have this modifier I can do my Cooley hat for my right hand grip and I can press the mic switch and hit the Cooley hat which isn't exactly natural <laughs> it's you got a grip with your thumb and your forefinger there but it works so anyway for the example that I'm trying to give I think that works you get the idea. You can you can get a lot of uh, mileage out of your controls doing it this way, and especially if you're having to make do with a throttle that or a stick that just doesn't have all the buttons that you would like um, or that you need. You can just set one of them up as a modifier that's easy to access, and then go from there. Uh, one thing that I would recommend trying if you need lots and lots of buttons is pick a modifier on your throttle and pick a modifier on your stick and then use the modifier on your stick to modify controls on your throttle 
and vice versa. The, the modifier on your throttle is used to modify controls on your stick. That way, with your left hand, you're hitting the modifier, and your right hand, you're hitting the control. Or if you're using the modifier, if, if your control is on the throttle, you'll use your right hand for the modifier and the left hand for the control. That way, you're not trying to hit two controls on the same device with the same hand, if that makes sense. Okay, that's it. I hope it's helpful. Thank you guys for watching.